begin celebrating the Lunar New Year, marking the start of the new year on the traditional lunar calendar, often referred to as the Spring Festival in mainland China. But COVID protocols still in place. Many of the usual celebrations are being put on hold. But Meg Shaw is live this morning to tell us how the holiday is still being observed. Good morning, Meg. Hey, good morning, Tanita and Katie. You know, COVID uh, protocols certainly put a damper on many celebrations. Regardless, though, many families here in Northeast Ohio have individually been preparing for a couple of weeks now. You know, the Lunar New Year is one of the most important and recognized holidays in many Asian cultures, and so they will be celebrating the Lunar New Year for the next couple of weeks. The Lunar New Year is here and it means it's time to celebrate. This past week, a lot of families have been preparing for New Year's feasts, um, preparing special foods like dumplings and yang gao, which are rice cakes and lots of other things. And rid of any bad energy from the past year. It's really meaningful to get to have a chance to celebrate in spite of it all. Kara Zhang is the director of Cleveland's Asia Town Initiatives. She says with the recent rise in crimes happening against older Asian Americans, the Lunar New Year is the perfect opportunity for for Northeast Ohioans to show their support for Asian owned businesses. We invite you to come into Asia Town and support Asian owned businesses to um, take part in traditions and order takeout from our restaurants um, to stand up and speak up um, of what is happening around and um, to when you see instances to, to speak up and, and stand up for people who are experiencing discrimination. She says many businesses and owners have been struggling since the initial outbreak in China, but they're looking for a brighter 2021. Our community is really strong and really resilient. Um, we've seen a lot of community care, a lot of people um, coming out to support businesses, businesses supporting each other. And so we just um, really encourage that and highlight that and um, want people to see the strength and the vibrancy of our community too. All right, so the New Year, uh, the Lunar New Year celebrations will last until February 26th, which will then be marked with a Lantern Festival. So if you would like to celebrate and eat your way through the holiday, we have an entire guide for you right now on our News 5 app and News5Cleveland.com. Live in Cleveland, I'm Meg Shaw on News 5.